go get us some more twigs for the nest, and I'll just get on down to the water and get us something for supper. Okie dokie. See you later, hot potato. Hmm. Not much around today. I wonder what's scaring them off. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, there's a tasty worm. You get off our forest. With a white team like you idiots, I'm behind schedule before I even get started. What's going on here? We're three. We got a problem, boss. <laughs> problem what problem? I don't see no problem. Non-union labor pickets, boss. Slowing down our productivity. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. A couple of birds, that's all. Get them! <laughs> them beaks is real mean, boss. Ow! Okay, okay. Ow! We'll negotiate a temporary withdrawal. But we'll be back. You got my word for that. Try to get some sleep here. I can't. I know they'll be back, and what will happen to all of us then? Slowly. Slowly. It was just a hurried nightmare. Slowly, what's happened to you? Oh, darling, I just had the most awful nightmare. I dreamt that the spirit of the forest was following me. A sort of huge blackbird. Ugh, horrid. You eat too much. Yesterday evening, you had 42 second helpings of ginger cake. You think that that's got something to do with it? I don't think so. I know so. You're a dreadful glutton. And dreadful gluttons have dreadful nightmares. Well, everybody knows that. What you really need is a bit of exercise. Oh, my goodness. Do I have to? Well, my friends, what do you know about storks? They're birds with big beaks and long legs. Yes, they are waders, but apart from that... Some of them are white and some are black. Most of them live in areas of Europe, near lakes, rivers, and forests. And they get to spend the winter in Africa, in the sun. Lucky fellas. Very, very good. But they're not as lucky as all that. Those idiot rats are destroying the forests, polluting the lakes and rivers, and draining the marshlands. The storks, especially the black variety, have less and less space to live in. Fortunately, there are several nature reserves where the storks have found refuge, and this is precisely where I.I. I. is going to take you, to such a reserve. Those rats are plotting something. We have to find out what. There! Hello. They're destroying the reserve. And did you see that? No, how was right. If Red Crow is in on this, it can only be a dodgy deal. We have to find out more. Aye, aye. Find somewhere where you can land. But there are trees everywhere. We'll risk a crash if we land there. Trees or no trees with you, we always live dangerously, aye, aye. But it sure is fun. Oh, wow. oh, oh, oh. Oh. We apologize for any inconvenience to our passengers. 
passengers. I, I hope you have had a pleasant flight and hopes to see you again soon on her airline. Quick, Bambooly, over here! Help me free the stork before he breaks his wing! How about my wings? It happens every time. I manage to strain my wing again. Are you from the building side? No, on the contrary. We've come to find out what's going on here. You can trust us. We're on your side. Do you know what the rats are planning to do on this building site? I have no idea. But they're killing the trees and poisoning the river. And that river is our fruit supply. I heard that they're setting up a hunting lodge and holiday camp for government personnel. <gasps> if that's true, it'll be a disaster for the nature reserve. Okay, the uh, tennis courts will be over there. And uh, we'll get rid of these useless trees and concrete over the banks. For a beautiful holiday camp. This is going to be a beautiful holiday camp. I would have liked to have been a politician, but they wouldn't take me. Hardly surprising. You do have to have a grain of intelligence to get into government. It was not a question of intelligence. I was too small. Not of impressive stature, they said. You tell them, Bray. When I think it was not so long ago that a rat minister came to open the reserve. He made a speech about protecting endangered species. A rat's promise. Ha! Not all rats are bad. We could go and see this minister. Perhaps he doesn't know what's going on. Simple as that. Well, we could try. I know a rat who has an important job in television. A story like this is bound to interest her. We have to do something. Right then. Let's get going. Air I I flight into town, immediate boarding. I hate towns. They smell awful. Make you cough and feel dirty. It can't be much further. There, there it is. The Ministry of Environment. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare to land. Now, what have you got to say about that? That's what you call a real landing. Look! They're so preoccupied dashing about that they don't even notice a dragon landing in the middle of the road. Rats are completely oblivious to the supernatural, Dalin. They have to have a reason for everything. The TV station is just by the Ministry. I'll go and pay my rat friend a visit. Fine. Slowly and I'll go see the Minister. Thank goodness Noah was able to get us an interview. Otherwise, we would have waited weeks to see him. Well, uh, a Minister must have loads of work to do. I'm listening. Well, we've come to tell you that there's a building operation and... Building works? Yes, and right in the middle of the forest. In the forest? Uh... Yes, they are destroying the trees and polluting the river. Mm, all right, I'll send a commission for inquiry and everything will be put back as it was. Uh, do you know who these uh, vandals with no respect for the law are? It's Ratko. <laughs> Ratko? Uh, Ratko? Uh, um, excuse me, uh, I have to make a call. Hmm. No license plates, no indicator lights, no wing mirrors, no sign of headlights, and non-regulation exhaust pipe. Uh, Mr. Rattleone, please, miss. Uh, it's the Minister of Environment calling. Rattleone. Ah, uh, yes, it's you, old chap. Yeah, yeah, the building site. Uh, authorization? Oh, no, 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 no problem. Rattleone always has authorization. And every authorization. And please, do not forget the contributions to your government party, so generously donated by the Ratco Foundation, will ya? Yeah, see you soon, old man. <laughs> of course, of course. You should have told me in the first place that this was one of Mr. Rattleone's building schemes. And you wouldn't have wasted my time. I'm a very busy man, you know. Mm -hmm. Well? Huh. A phone call to Rat Leone and the Minister of Environment becomes the Minister of Hot Air. Same thing for me. My friend couldn't help either. Guess who owns the television station? Rat Leone. You win. He seems to be everywhere. All right. But this is no reason to give up. We gotta get back to the forest and help our friends, the storks. No Rotex, or not feet. This has gotta be the parking ticket of the huh? Yeah, what do you know? It was an airplane. Well, honey, looks like our friends are back in town. 
the building work has progressed while you were away. Some animals have begun to talk of leaving the forest. Tomorrow, I'm going to speak to the rats working on the site. Do you think, uh... Yeah, you'll see. If the rats cause harm, it's often out of ignorance. It should be enough just to explain things to them. And I'm sure they'll understand. Comrade rats, most of you have wives and children who you take to the country for the weekend or on holiday. What is she talking about? She's talking about weekends and holidays. Let's hear what she's got to say. Your little children are thrilled to discover nature, trees, and animals. And where will they go when there's no countryside left? No more forests, no more trees, eh? Tell me, in plastic forests that you pay to visit, where animals will be ridiculous robots? You're great. You should go into politics. Do you realize that working on this building site means that you are destroying one of the last nature reserves in the whole region? Look what Racco was making you do. And what have they promised in return, huh? Ratko oh. promises that they will throw the first rat who's not back at work in the next 30 seconds uh, on the breadline. <laughs> now you see what Ratko promises, right? Get rid of them! <laughs> you see? I'm grown up enough to throw myself out. In the forest when the day is begun And the birds wake up in their foreignness In the warm light of the morning sun You know the shape of the tall trees the very best As the wind burns Just like music when the queen bumblebee flies around every flower on the buzzing hum. Underwater, Mr. Frog still can see with his eyes just as big as a marching drum. While the sun sets over, over your eyes, all things come to rest. Not really. Just rats obsessed with all the little day-to-day -day rat like problems. <sighs> the sun is already at its height. I'd better get back. Old know how we'll be getting worried. You'd better get going, Ai Ai. We'll be okay on our own for now. Anyway, you know how to get hold of me. Bye! There must be a solution to all this. We can't just sit around here and let them destroy this forest. Of course we can, but never underestimate the enemy. <laughs> These guys are really heavy. Oh, the Prime Minister. My dear Trap, I've been hearing you've got some problems with a building project as dear to me as it is to our mutual friend, Rattleone. Problems? No, nothing like that. With Mr. Rattleone, there are never any problems. Excellent. Anyway, I think you should go and have a look over this project yourself, so you can rest assured that all these rumors are just simple bad feeling. I never thought otherwise. Uh, there's no need to... Uh... No, I insist, and make sure the press corps goes with you, all right? So, we're gonna have to find another place for the nest. We're used to it, you know. This is a very bad time for us to be moving house. Look at all of them. I didn't notice. Congratulations. Thank you. You understand why we are so worried with this building site. They're so bad, those Redco people. They only understand the laws of brute force or fear. Ah, uh, if only the spirit of the forest really existed. I'm sure he'd send all those rats packing. Spirit of the forest? Oh, nothing. Just a nightmare I had. Slowly! You're great! 
Here's the solution. Listen, this is what we're going to do. Family, you will be disguised as a rat, and you will get taken on as part of the workforce. You'll start spreading horrible stories about the spirit of the forest. A huge black stork who's likely to become very angry if the building work is allowed to go on. In the beginning, they're sure to take you for a joker. And then, during the night, when everyone is asleep, we're going to ask Ai Ai to do a little job. That's crazy. She's only just gone back to Know How's cave. Well, we'll just have to call her back, won't we? The next morning, the rats will see all their bulldozers up in the trees. And when Bamboo Lee talks to them again about the spirit of the forest, I can promise you they won't find it so funny. What next? Next, you'll see. Oh, if my poor mother caught me looking like this. You're going to be wonderful, Ai Ai. Believe me. You'll be a sensation. Yes, sir. Uh, everything is taken into account. Uh, uh, we've had a slight problem. The bulldozers are temporarily out of order. But everything is under control. Okay, listen closely. The Minister of the Environment is gonna pay a little visit to the site tomorrow. A simple formality. His visit should squash a few unpleasant rumors that are circulating. Now, I'm counting on you. Understood. You can count on me. I'll roll out the red carpet. He won't be disappointed. Uh. Hey, Juan. It's Autumn. The bulldozers are ripe. Haven't you got anything better to do than stand around talking rubbish? Uh. Hey. Hey, hang on. I haven't finished yet. Hurry up. Get a move on. The minister will be here any moment. Uh. Got everything? Caviar, foie gras on toast. You know how journalists love to scuff foie gras. It's the minister. <laughs> ah, Mr. Minister, what an honor. If the minister will allow, I would like to show the minister around the site. Mm, the press still not here yet? No, Minister, but they shouldn't be much longer, Minister. Mr. Rattley only insisted that I come and pay a visit to reassure me, but I was never worried. How can one be uncertain of Rattley I hope they're not going to be too late. Who's that, Minister? The press, my friend, the press. Oh, no! We didn't expect this. Very, very, very impressive. She even makes me scared. Okay, we'll meet up over there. <sighs> Uh, this foie gras is really marvelous. In fact, everything is marvelous around here. Complete paradise. I knew it all along. Mind you, anything you do with Ratlioni is always perfect. Where are those journalists? I've absolutely no idea, Minister. If I'd have known that your journalists were going to let you down, I'd have brought in our guys. I can't wait around for them any longer. You must have a lot of work to do. Uh, I won't keep you any longer, Minister. Honestly, journalists, one can never rely on them. Too bad. I have to go. I've got a card game with the President. Very good, my friend. Huh? Can't hear a thing. I've got mud in my ears. Don't go! Don't go! It's a false alarm! I'll tell you, big hoax! Do you hear me? <laughs> I don't 
think they'll be back. Well, with Radko, you always have to watch out. The press. I've had it. Congratulations for the red carpet treatment. The Minister of the Environment is livid. He's gonna make sure I'm well and truly shackled. I know him. I'll have to abandon this project immediately. You useless bunch! Disappear! I don't want to see or hear you guys for quite some time. Get it? Well? I don't think he's gonna pay our cleaning bills. They're so cute! We'll never be able to thank you enough. Oh, don't mention it. It's nothing. We can't help it. You see, darling, if I hadn't eaten 42 helpings of ginger cake, I would never have had that nightmare, and we would never have been able to save our friends. Therefore, just to be prepared for the next mission, I'd like a little something to eat right now. <laughs> <laughs>